Jesus, it's definitely a bit cold anyway. But anyway, this is my third camera setup. What's that guy at? It's my third camera setup now. Change the angle of it. And I've added an external mic, so the sound quality should be better. But I'm wearing a balaclava over my mouth, so I'm probably very muffled. I suppose I better, uh, I might show you a video of how I set this up. So you can try and replicate it. And my mirrors are all fogged up. Wonderful. <coughs> Can't see shit. I'm going to assume the camera angle is correct because I didn't get a chance this morning to check it out. Remember the last video I put up here, I was cutting off the top of the screen. We shall see. So as the title suggests, I'm riding a Honda Varadero 125. It's alright, it's a big enough bike, I'm tall enough, so it's uh, on a learner's bike, I needed something decent. But I'm hoping to upgrade, this is maybe a 5 or 600, I'm thinking a CBF 600. I'm not quite sure, once I get my full license, I'll go for a few test drives and that will make my mind up but I don't need anything major I'm just using the bike to commute to work every day at the weekends I'll go out for a spin I have to say I definitely prefer riding in the winter In the summer, you're sweating your balls off. In the winter, you can heat up, you can put on extra layers, you can have heated grips, as I do. I don't have them turned on at the moment, but you can. So I think it's just easier in general. And after a couple of hours on the bike, you don't come back absolutely sweating through everything you've on. Unfortunately, generally, very lightweight bike gear is expensive. <clears throat> this goes on my ass. Fuck off. Jeez, I wish I did have my heel grips connected. My hands are fucking freezing. <laughs> One thing about the helmet I currently have is it is not great for ventilation, so on the winter's days it tends to fog up a bit. Uh, since I've started wearing the balaclava it has improved because you don't breathe directly onto the visor, which is handy. But um, I'm probably going to get it. It was a cheap ass helmet, it was 50, 50 pounds for, uh, for the helmet, this practically nothing. So I'm probably going to upgrade in the next month or so 
maybe after in the new year once uh, all the Christmas expenses are over I can treat myself to a helmet and a bike hopefully not quite sure what the external mic is going to be like with the sound of the wind rushing by uh, it's very noisy in this helmet, so I, I can assume that the, the microphone picks up the same noise. So we shall see. Got up this morning, there's ice everywhere, so my, my bike seat was just completely iced over. I'm going to have to get myself a, a bike cover, so that doesn't happen every time. Uh, I'm fucking pretty sure I didn't press record. Wonderful. <clears throat> It'd be a nice surprise if I get home and this video is actually recorded. Does that cross my mind there that I didn't press record? Interesting. <laughs> well, that would be an absolute pain in the ass if I didn't. I'm fucking sure I didn't. God damn it. What is this guy at? Look down at the camera, and it is recording. Excellent. Shows how good my memory is in the morning. Fucking hell. Uh, yes, I definitely need to put on my heated grips. I disconnected the wire of it there a few months ago because I kept turning it on turning it on and then forgetting about it when I went into work and then came out in the evening after work and the bike battery is dead. So that completely sucked. So more than once I've had to get jumped off someone else's car and constantly killing your battery probably isn't good for the long term life of the battery. What the fuck are these guys doing? Bye. 
is you're pretty much faster off the line than cars anyway, so you get a bit of delay time. One downside to winter riding is the sun is always in your fucking face. I need to get a decent, uh, my next helmet I need to get a one with a decent shaded visor. This helmet has a flip down shaded visor, but it sucks ass. It's just basically very heavily tinted plastic. So even though it blocks out the sun, it blocks out pretty much all other things. So cars and things just become silhouettes in the sun. It's very hard to pick out detail and I don't like reusing it. <clears throat> what you need is a decent uh, polarized visor and that will allow that to work properly. And my visor's foggy.